many of you wanted it. Many of you asked for it. So here we are, everybody. My name is Mihari of Mabinogi, and welcome to Let's Play Zork Nemesis. So, yeah. After a quick question at the end of my Zerk Grand Inquisitor Let's Play, you guys opted for another short LP to go alongside Persona 3, and I decided that since many of you asked for it, I would Let's Play Zork, Nem I would let's play Zork Nemesis. Now, actually, you know what, I'll just let you decide for yourself through the initial cutscene, and after that I'll do we'll have a little chat. <laughs> No one remembers exactly when it began, but I'll never forget. It began on the day of the Great Eclipse, on the day of my murder. I have lost my only love, and I have lost my life. Now we all lie under the curse. Sometimes a single act can be so evil it can curse the world, unraveling the future. Only the four lost elements will bring the world back into balance. Then I will live again. I have but one hope left, and it is you. No one else dares come here. And before you ask, no, the frame rate is not fucky. The animation is actually that choppy and weird. So, uh, in case you guys haven't been able to tell, this game has a lot different of a mood setting than Zork Grand Inquisitor. It did come out before it, but as you can tell, this game has a bit more of a serious and desolate tone to it. I guess basically just like after making this, they decided they wanted and like they decided what they want to do with their series. And, you know, that's fine. Sometimes it just like takes a game, it takes like making an initial game to realize what you want to do with your franchise, unless your name is Square Enix or Sega. But that's beside the point. You guys want to see something weird? That was pretty weird. I don't even know what the purpose of this was. It doesn't solve any puzzles. It's, it's just it's just a nice song and a threat from Nemesis. Which, you know, is, is apparently the protagonist of this game from what I've been told. And also, a, a message from a dead lady. Finally, someone has come. But I do know how to get into the temple. And basically, I spent, like, a few minutes futzing around with the first puzzle. I got into the temple, and that's about it. So basically, once I figure out this- well, not even figure out, I know the answer to this very asinine puzzle. Y you see this? You just- whoop. There we go. Home? Have you come to seek the alchemists? I don't know. Don't waste your time. Don't be a dick to me. <laughs> you can do no good here. You sound like an asshole. I don't like you already. 
What is, what is, we cannot interact with this. It looks like, it looks like some place you would put a hidden door, but I guess not. Okay, there's a library here. This guy can't even bother to be, this guy can't even be asked to clean up after himself. That is extremely disappointing and kind of sad. What is, is there something over here? There's a door. There's also some more stuff to look, Oh, that's big. We, we can't look up at it though. We can't look at that either. Can we look at this big thing up here? Oh, whoa. So, I guess we can sort of move it? Oh. Can we not? We can't. Oh, yes we can. Oh my. Okay, what's in here then? Well, it's some sort of tunnel. Are there any grooves in here? Oh. This is gonna... This is gonna require some sort of technical alchemic know-how. I'm guessing this game revolves around more... more revolves around alchemy like Grand Inquisitor revolved around magic. Looks like we can't really do anything here yet. Not yet, anyway. Okay, what's over... Uh, oh, they just lock themselves back in place. Alright. I guess I'll have to remember the answer to that puzzle for later. Nice. Anyway, what's over here? Let's see. Can't interact with that. Hey, a sundial. Wait, what? Oh. Uh. Oops. Okay, I fixed it. I'll probably have to remember that this is broken later. Anyway, what's over here? Door. Door is locked. Okay. The game has the same, like, really weird speedy camera controls that probably come with running as it on a new OS. Like a newer OS than when it was initially released. What's in here, though? That's, oh, is that, is that... Should I... Should I censor that? I don't... I don't think this is safe for YouTube. Probably not, anyway. Don't know if naked butts are allowed on YouTube. Touch what you cannot solve and return to me. I've got the hints, and I'll give you three. Suggestion, instruction, and direction. The level of hint is at your discretion. But wait a bit before you flee. You must know how to advance through the three. Touch me then. Uh, can I touch the... I can't... I cannot touch the butt. If you ask, I will give you a second hint. Remember, touch me to advance. Touch above me to repeat your last hint. Touch. Go forth now and explore the forbidden lands. Okay, I will do that. Thank you, naked lady. I go. Oh. Hello? These are nice. Oh my god. Seem like we can do anything with them. Oh! Oh! What is this? It does absolutely nothing! Wonderful. Moving on. So, nothing's on over here. This seems to do about fuck all, so. I guess well, this is just like something that we'll have to come back to later? I'm guessing anyway. Can I? No, I can't interact with that, I don't think. Anyway, what's in here? I. We're. Back in the library? Oh, okay. I do get lost a bit I easily. I persist. My secrets are my own, and no one else's. What you seek will only blacken your heart.
buddy boy, my I permanently reside on the internet. My heart is already blackened. <laughs> That's you, you, you're cute, friend. Okay, so this is some sort of chem lab, I'm guessing. Can't seem to futz around with any of it. Huh. One of those one of those fancy futuristic medieval singing posters. I'm guessing we may have to go back to the crypt and get the violin for this. Maybe in a little bit. I'm not done. Uh, not, maybe in a little bit though. I'm not done looking around yet. Let's see. Oh, sweet dragon poster, bro. Can't seem to do anything with it either. And right clicking does not give me an inventory screen, so that's good. that though that looks pleasing yeah doesn't seem like you can, we can interact with anything here not yet anyway can i can i not shit got to go in here now there we go oh shit camera okay you will come to see the one thing in its correspondences. As Jupiron is to tin and air, as Mers is to iron and earth, as Saturna is to lead and tire, as Venus is to copper and water. The body attracts heaven, and this takes place in accordance with the great divine order. So hath been, and so ma so always, and so it always must be. From Alpha to Omega, from the beginning of Zorg to the end of time. It is true without lie and certain without doubt that what is below is like what is above, and what is above is like what is below, to accomplish the miracles of the one thing. So it is written in the Emerald Table of Hermes. This is the first principle of all, of, of all our great work, the one thing. Of all created things, the, con the, con and the condition whereof is transitory and frail. There is only one single principle. All created things proceeded from the one matter, not each separately from its own peculiar matter. Any imperfect earthly matter can, only can be transmuted into the utmost degree of perfection. From the basest of metals can, pre can perfect gold, and silver be distilled from the band from the basest of mortal earth, and can eternal life be wrought. The great mystery lies in elusive power of the quintessentia, the five transformative earth element, the element of spirit, the quintessence, whomever possesses its secret can unlock the great mystery of the cosmos. Basically, a bunch of alchemy mumbo jumbo about brewing the elixir of life and also unlocking the knowledge of the infinite cosmos. Most of you who have come to my channel because you like the animes have probably watched Full Metal Alchemist and know that shit doesn't go well. Anyway, what it? Oh shit, what are these? Is that it? From Oh. I tried to contact Dr. Vixen about the meaning of the alchemy blade symbols. He told me that all symbols have meanings in alchemy, and that everyone is controlled by the orientation of these symbols. He could not, however, tell me more use. The man is nearly deaf and blind, a condition that I feel describes perfectly my search for answers. Weird voice recording things. The crimes were great, and I had to be judge, jury, and executioner. Yet they do not succumb to my torture. Sartorius so seems the weakest, but even that bastard will not break his silence. Last day of the year of the misuse. I've hidden the sources of their powers away from their control. Without them, they are unable to hold back the very elements they use to keep dominion over. I'm guessing these are the alchemists the woman in white was talking about. I 
have learned the four key steps used in alchemy. Sublimation, distillation, calcification, and coagulation. Still, I know there is more to be found. Something is missing. Some vital step. It might be not being an asshole and being an asshole to your friends. The fortune is nearly gone. I am going in search of answers elsewhere. Rumors speak of riches beyond the hills. I have discovered a vast subterranean land filled with magic and mysteries. However, I haven't found any creature knowledgeable in the black arts. A wizard may be somewhere underground, but I have yet to find him. The other treasure hunters have discovered the rooms, and I've had to kill them to protect my belongings. Huh. Maybe a foreshadowing to Zork Grand Inquisitor? I don't know. Maybe. This game did come out before it, so... Uh, it doesn't seem like there's anything else in... Shit. Stop doing that. There we go. Uh, it doesn't seem like there's anything else in here we can fuss around with. Seems like this episode is mostly just gonna be, like, exploring and getting to know this place we basically just broke into. <laughs> Can't seem to mess around with that. Probably, like, come back here later with, like, a hammer or something. Okay, we've... I think we've been out here, yeah? So let's go back in here. Maybe there was something at the end of that hallway that we never looked at. Wait, no, we were just... Yeah, I think we were, like, just here. Oh, shit. I think, were we just here? Yeah, we were... <laughs> shit. Most of y'all know that I am the worst with directions, so... Oh, getting lost in this place is gonna get real tiring real quick. another place in the garden we can go? Or at least I'm assuming that this was a garden. Also, can we take this with us and like maybe do some shit with it? I don't know. Is it a wand? Is it a sundial piece? We may never know. Hello again, naked lady. Wait, oh. What? What is this? Okay, let's advance. Wait, what the? Oh my god, our... Hold on a second. Can't seem to do anything with this, but... Are those... That's... A body. <gasps> oh, Jesus fuck, it's alive! <gasps> people nemesis trapped, I think. Is there any way we can, like, let you out of there? I am guessing that's the symbol for- the alchemic symbol for water. Either that or just- wait, hey, look, a female. I- I don't know. Spirit's corpus. 
I know that corpus means body, so a spirit without a body? Maybe? I don't know. What do you have to say for yourself? Met you. There's no one left. Everything destroyed. Bring me earth. That is my strength. I'll reward you. I fought in so So, something that these guys did was so bad, either that or Nemesis is so evil that he basically put them into sensory deprivation. Which honestly, that kind of shit fucks people up. If I've, like, if my, if my delves into random psychological articles have said anything. But anyway, we are running a bit low on time, so I guess... Next time on Zork M Nemesis, we are going to try to find out a way to help these poor people. I will see you guys then, and take care.